everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to pair and sync your Roku remote if you do not have a pairing button. Now to tell whether or not you have a pairing button, it typically will be on the side or maybe even under the back cover here. So let's open the back cover and it should be located like right here where the batteries are. Now if you do not see a pairing button, remove the batteries and then just plug them back in. Now we're going to put this into the Bluetooth pairing mode. So hold down the back button and the home button at the same time. And after about 10 seconds, the little green light will begin to blink right near the microphone and the power button. And this is an indication is looking for a device to connect to. Now we can go on over to our Roku and we can get really close to the actual device and just see if we can connect and pair it via this method right here. So it's still looking for a device to connect to, indicated by the blinking green light. Now we may actually want to unplug the Roku and just power cycle it. So I'm going to unplug it and then connect it back in. And the blue dot is on. And this should connect the remote after about one minute. And you'll know your remote is connected because when you press a button, the little blue light will begin to blink really fast. And it looks like my remote is now connected again and it's paired. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your 6 Tech.